Hello everyone, it's great to be here with you this morning to share some more thoughts from the Bible with you. You know, in all of the lockdowns that we have here in Uganda, and um, which has included like an evening curfew, we've had lots of time in evenings home alone, my husband and I. And one of the ways that we've kept ourselves entertained is by tuning into a couple of uh, different series on YouTube that people have made. So one of the ones that we've been watching is about a couple who bought an old sailing boat and they've spent a lot of time doing it up, ready to sail all around the world. Now we were binge watching old episodes of that series, as you do, watching the incredibly hard work that it was completely renovating this old boat. Um, and as we were watching, a, a quote jumped out at me. So the guy who was involved in the build said, being uncomfortable is a good thing. Being uncomfortable is a good thing. Now, I'm a, a person who likes my comfort. You know, I, I love a comfortable bed and a, a nice soft pillow. I like a good sofa that I can curl up on in, in the evenings. I'd much rather spend a little bit more money and have a hotel room on holiday than stay in a tent. Um, uh, I like my comfort, but that liking for, for physical comfort can often spill over into other areas of life into the way that I do life you know this is this is comfortable and familiar I think I'll I'll just stick with this you know I know this this is good I can stay in this place you know I know I, I moved to Africa from the UK and that wasn't exactly a, a comfort experience but now that I'm here you know I know the way things work it's very easy to get caught up in the comfortable all over again even in a new country that quote that the guy said it was it was concerning how you need to be uncomfortable sometimes if you're going to experience something amazing if they were going to sail around the world, find those beautiful white sandy beaches and crystal clear water, you know, meet people from different cultures and, and see incredible sights. If they were going to have all of that, then they needed to go through this time of being uncomfortable. They had to go through that uncomfortable stage of making sure that their boat was put together right. Even on the journey... You know, they wouldn't have all of the, the creature comforts that they were used to. They would be living on a boat that was only 36 feet long. They would have limited space and limited luxuries. But it would be worth it for the many benefits that they would see. There are so many parallels to that with our spiritual life, I think. You know, we can be quite comfortable where we are, settled, happy with what we have, but a little bit unwilling to push into something deeper because it might mean making some big changes because things might be uncomfortable for a little while. But being uncomfortable can be a good thing. So there's another boat related example which sums this up pretty well. Peter and the other disciples, they had crowded into a, a little fishing boat and they were, they'd left Jesus behind them. He was going to dismiss the crowd who he'd been speaking to. So they start out on their journey across this enormous lake. And, you know, it's going okay. But then suddenly the wind picks up and the waves start to get bigger and bigger and more and more threatening for the people who are on the boat. <coughs> the wind was blowing against them and, and the Bible account tells us that with all of their effort, they, they just couldn't drive the boat forward. They were stuck where they were. It was dark. It was a little bit scary, I imagine, especially for any of those people who were less used to life on the water. It was definitely uncomfortable. They were not in a comfortable situation right at that moment in time. And then to make matters worse, in Matthew chapter 14, verse 26, we read that shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. 
terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. A combination of their, their discomfort, a night of hard work, straining at the oars, bailing water out of the boat, and then combined with this, this ghostly apparition, taking a, a casual stroll across the stormy water, it left them absolutely terrified, absolutely uncomfortable. But what happens next is incredible. See, Peter, he recognises Jesus. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. Oh my goodness, can you imagine this experience for Peter? For everybody who is on that boat watching this happen, mortal man Peter stepped out of the boat onto the rough wavy water and started to walk on it as if it was solid ground. Even when he started to sink, you know, looking at the waves and the wind and feeling a bit terrified all of a sudden, even then he was rescued by God on earth and safely deposited back into the boat. Wow. That's the kind of experience that would stay with you, isn't it? You know, after Jesus' death and, and death and resurrection, I can sort of picture the disciples sitting together and sharing stories from his life. You know, do you remember that time when I walked on the water? The disciples had to endure the discomfort of the boat in order to see the miraculous. You know, I bet if you had asked any of them after that time that none of them would look back on that moment and wish that they'd had smooth sailing that night. None of them would wish that evening had been comfortable because what they saw through their discomfort was so much better than if they just had a straightforward, easy journey. Don't fear the uncomfortable. Who knows what amazing situation God is going to bring out of it. If you're in a, a situation that feels uncomfortable now, I mean, I think we all kind of are a little bit, right, in this global pandemic. But I, I encourage you, don't fear it. Don't despise it. <clears throat> Instead, ask God what he is doing through it because we have no idea we might look back on this time and say wow look what god did there he can work wonders through situations that are uncomfortable thank you so much for joining me here again i will see you next week for some more thoughts from the bible until next time